The outrage we feel here in North Texas over the death of Sharon Matthews is felt just as fiercely in India tonight. The little girl was adopted and brought to America, but her death in Richardson has lawmakers in India furious. Now, video showed her happy, smiling, but after two weeks of desperate searching, the lifeless body of this precious child would soon be found in a culvert not far from the Richardson police station. And tonight, a closer look at where Sharon's life began, where she was abandoned as a baby, and what this could mean for others hoping to adopt from India. Jobin Panikar reports tonight from India. Well, India's agency on adoption says that one in six adopted children are adopted by families outside of this country. The question is, does Sharon Matthews' case change that? It is in the heart of the city we see life. Sadly, it is also a street corner away we see it hanging by a thread. Here in the state of Bihar, vibrance is met with vagrants. We are told it is the same surroundings that Sharon Matthews likely came from. She was found abandoned months old near a railway in a town south of here. Rishijesh Singh knows these backdrops very well. And he feels that uh, poverty can be eradicated by education. Chief Minister of Bihar. He and many other social workers who are hyper-focused on underprivileged children have kept up with Sharon's story. The young girl known as Saraswati, who was adopted from this building in Nalanda, found dead in America in Richardson, Texas. Her adoptive father has been charged in connection to the case. No, I see her as a Saraswati. I see her as a Saraswati. Indian lawmakers like Ashok Chowdhury are also now invested. He's also from Texas. The spotlight is now on India's adoption system. Who is taking that child? That is more important. After Sharon's story, the push to stop inter-country adoptions is getting stronger. Arun Dol, who is with Against Child Trafficking in Pune, India, says it is time. I don't like the trafficking of children, the kidnapping, stealing of children, the violation of children's rights. Also, inter-country adoption, the inter-country inter adoption system undermines the local child care protection system. Chowdhury says that step is too drastic and unreasonable, would support a scenario where outside adoptive parents must stay in the country for six months before leaving with the child. Then you can understand that what kind of a chemistry is going on with the child and the parent. Who is the president of India? Rishijesh's work is hands-on at this free school for all underprivileged kids. Says a band of willing parents keeps children from good environments. He feels that there should be a, a transparent system for adoption and there should be a follow-up, a, a legal body. In Sharon's case, follow-ups apparently did happen. We spoke yesterday with the caretaker, Babita Kumari, says she and the family lost contact three months before her death. It is possible these extra procedures may not have prevented what happened to Sharon. How India responds is still unclear. Much has been said, little has been done. What happened to Sharon Matthews is being felt well beyond these streets. Joan Panikur, Channel 8 News. Sharon Matthews' adoptive mother has not been charged in the case. She was at the child's funeral on Monday. For an in-depth look at the little girl's life, her death, including photos from our team's journey to India, click on the story at WFAA.com.